Welcome back into the GoTo Fall Guy. My name is Guy. I'll be here with you for the next two hours. So we got a really cool show today because uh, for the first time in a while, we actually have flowers. We have bulbs that you're going to be planting in the fall. Rochelle Grayer is going to be joining us in our second hour. What do you see? We have, we have hyacinths. We have tulips. We, oh, my gosh. We have such beautiful stuff. But in this show... I, I couldn't decide, I, you know, I always pick each, uh, a pick of the patch in each hour. I couldn't figure it out, so I kind of have two. But my main pick is gonna be our shimmering chandelier. This sold out, we just got them back. This is so absolutely gorgeous, it can go anywhere. It's retro cool, uh, totally cool styling. It looks awesome, daytime or nighttime. When the uh, sun hits it during the day, it just sparkles. But it's got multicolor changing LEDs inside. And because it's battery operated, it can go anywhere. Look at it. You can put it outside on your porch or patio. You can put it indoors, wherever you want to have that little reflection and that sparkle. It is gorgeous. We can't keep this in stock. I just got them back. I got about three or 4,000 uh, and they will sell out eventually. Look how pretty they are at night. Look at that. Tell me you don't want that. <laughs> when the wind hits it, oh, and then the little mirrors, they reflect all over your property. 2945. 599-977 is the item number. That's coming up a little bit later. I'm really excited about that. And another thing I'm really excited about, we finally got an, a uh, chipper shredder. You know, we've been trying to get these for a long time, but it was price prohibitive. They were four, five, six hundred dollars And then finally Earthwise came up with uh, one for us. That's all electric. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put your twigs, your branches, your leaves, whatever it is, whatever garden debris, you can go up to almost two inches in diameter on your sticks. You feed it into the top with the little tamper and it comes out as mulch. It's $169.95, we ordered 300. I don't even think I have 200 remaining. It's already been uh, gobbled up on .com. So if you wanna get it, it's 728-045. Uh, Peter Kilcullen's gonna be joining us later. Always wanted to have one of these things, but the big giant ones are a little scary. This one's not. This one's gonna trim up all those leaves, all the clippings. It'll gobble them up, and then it turns them into perfect mulch for you. 728-045 is the item number there. Let's get started with our go-to fall guy. Of course, the squirrels are in the house. Uh, there's, uh, I, I think that's Jenny the squirrel. That's the one that just hangs out outside in our squirrel chair. And then we have our couple of squirrels inside. We have, of course, the lovely Belle, which is right here. Uh, she's great, she helps us out. And then we have our other uh, man squirrel that we have yet to name, but we're gonna do that. Go to hsn.com, we're streaming live on Facebook. Yes, we are. So you can leave your comments if you wanna name our squirrel. We're gonna get you started with something I think every homeowner needs, right? You've all had the screw or the bolt or the nut or whatever it is that you can't get off, right? It's either frozen on, it's rusted on, uh, it's been there forever, it's broken, whatever you need to do. This is called rocket socket. This is a way to be able to remove any of those damaged, rusty, bent, whatever kind of screw nut or bolt you have, it'll pop them out instantly. What you're gonna get is you're gonna get a little socket set. And in that set, there are five different sockets, all right? And there is also an adapter so you can utilize it with your power, power tools. It has this razor grip technology that grabs on to whatever bolt or nut or whatever it is that's damaged and it'll remove it for you lickety split. It's uh, on sale today for $28. You get the whole set. We're gonna show you how it works. It's on FlexPay, $9.33. If you wanna order it right away, 699-744 is our item number. Let's say hi to Lou Caputo, who's here. Lou's always there to help us out. Hi, Lou. Hey, good morning, Guy. How are you today? I'm good, buddy. So I think everybody, any, anybody who's a homeowner has had to uh, deal with that yeah. bolt that you just can't, you can't get the thing out, right? Yeah, no, and that's the thing. Anybody out there who's ever had to deal with a strip nut or a bolt or even a screw that you've gotten in something that you've managed to strip out as well, the rocket socket is gonna get it out of there for you. It does one thing, but it does it better than anything else out there and it's getting those bolts, those nuts, those screws out for you and you know making your life just that much easier. Now, let me show you the difference though between these and regular sockets, okay? So I'm gonna grab right here a regular socket and I've also got one of the rocket sockets over here. Now, when you look at this, you can see this is the regular socket right there. It has six sides in there and it really relies on the fact that the nut or the bolt that you're gonna be pulling out of there 
has six sharp sides on it that it's gonna be able to grab onto. But when it gets stripped, guess what? This thing's just gonna sit and spin and spin. Look at the inside of the rocket socket right there. This actually has a reverse spiral that goes through there like razors inside. And it grabs onto the nuts, it grabs onto the bolts, it grabs onto the screws and it pulls them out there. Check out this animation. This really gives you a good view of what that's all about. And that's why we call it razor grip technology. Cause once it gets in there, the nut, the bolt, even the stud, if you broke the head off of a nut bolt or screw, it's gonna pull that off as well. So let me show you a quick example right here, okay? On this post right here, I have got a bolt sitting right there. Now, this is the size socket that's supposed to sit on there, but if I put it on there and I try and grab it, it's just spinning because this thing is pretty much stripped out right there, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my rocket socket in the proper size. Now, I can use this with my ratchet or if I wanted to, I could use it with a power tool and I'll show you both of those in just a second. Now watch this, it's gonna go on there and as I turn it, it's sliding down and it's actually grabbing on to the bolt and it's extracting that. And remember, the regular socket couldn't even get a grip on that, but the rocket socket is pulling it right off of there. Now, a lot of times when you pull something out of there, you're gonna have that bolt stuck in there, the head of the bolt or something's gonna be in there. We actually give you a little punch that you can put in the back of this, hit it with a hammer, and it's gonna knock that out of there, guys. So really, really handy. And especially right now, we're all home, we're working on projects, yeah. you know, we're trying to do things, but every once in a while, no matter how careful you are, you're gonna strip a bolt, you're gonna strip a nut, you're gonna just round out the head of that screw, just completely, Phillips head, slotted head, doesn't matter, what do you do? Yeah. Rocket side. Well, yeah. it, you know, and especially people that, that own uh, older homes, where, you know, where maybe oh. a lot of the work was done before you ever moved into it, like my house, which was built sure. in the 30s. I mean, I run into this all the time, and, and the technology is brilliant. Because, uh, to lose point, you know, normally, if you have a fixed angular tool, all that is gonna do is use leverage against the angle to remove something, but if the angles on the nut or bolt or screw have been worn down or rusted tight, all that, right. all that thing is gonna do is spin around in circles, right? And, you know, and then you're making, a, you're making it even worse. Lou, this actually digs in and cuts into the metal and it grabs does. it and then removes it. So it's a whole different, it's a whole different technology than, than regular uh, you know, uh, removal systems and, and regular sockets, completely different. No, it is completely different. And that's the thing about this. Like I said in the beginning, it does one thing, it does it better than anything else. If you just use this one time, the frustration that it's gonna save you, the damage that you could possibly do to, as you saw a bicycle there, or maybe you're building a piece of furniture and you've gotta back a screw out and you stripped it. You know what I mean? This is the way that you're gonna do that. And even if you're not the person who's actually doing the work, maybe it's your husband or maybe guys, it's your wife, you know, whoever it is, it doesn't matter, they're going to absolutely love you and appreciate you for doing this. Now I wanna show you this board over here because what's interesting about this board is it shows you just some examples of the different things that you can use this on. For instance, you know, rounded bolt heads, we talked about that, all different sizes on here. Even if you've got something like this where the head sheared off completely, but I still need to be able to get this out of there. It'll grab onto this, so it doesn't even have to have a head on it. Sometimes you've got these deals down here, and this is the kind of thing you find on lamps and things like that, where you've got to twist this, you know, to get it out, and there's really no edge on it at all. It is rounded. The rocket socket with that razor grip technology is gonna grab that, and it's gonna pull it out, and you're gonna find things all around the house that you're gonna be able to use it on. Now, let me show you another example, though, because right here, I have got a screw that's in there. Now you might look at that, and actually, you know, it's funny because like I'm replacing boards on my dock right now, and a lot of the screws on that are really, really rusty. If I take, which one fits on here? If I take this guy, no, I think it's this one. All right, this is a regular socket, all right? Now notice, again, it's round. There's nothing for it to grab onto. Of course the socket can't work on that. But if I take the rocket socket and I grab the right size, just like that, that's gonna fit on there and do it. And I'll tell you what I'm gonna do, guy, just real quick. Got the drill out, buddy. Watch this. I'm gonna put the drill on there, get it on there, just gotta put the right size on it, and watch how quickly this will pull this out of here. This is actually kind of, boom, got it right out of there in just a couple seconds. It's kind of amazing how yeah. quickly it works. Now, I'm gonna show you how this punch works real quick because that nail, that screw rather, is stuck in there. So all I'm gonna do is just take that punch, put it in the end like that, and let me see if I can get this on here on camera, right there, and I'm just gonna, gonna give it a quick shot, just like that. You saw the screen pop right at it. It's brilliant. <laughs> it, you it's know brilliant. what it is? It, it, uh, this set 
is, is so cool because it, it's like, it's the hero set, right? You, you are there to save it the is. day when nobody else can get those screws out or those bolts out, you can do it. Here they are here well, and you have a graduated sizes. There's a little punch in there. There's a little adapter if you want to use it with your power tools. This right. Lou is one of those go-to sets that you, that you, if you're watching it now and you run into the yep. problem and you don't have this, you're going to wish that you bought it. <laughs> well, and guy, one thing I got to say, this is made in America out of American steel. It's the best steel in the world. Yeah. It's never going to break on you. And you know what? If you've been spending your time trying to get things out with a pair of pliers or a vice grip, guess what? This is what's going to stop you from cussing. I'm going to tell you right now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Those, it, it, there's nothing more habits. frustrating, right? Because you're like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I've come this far. And you may be yeah. able to get every other screw or bolt out. It's the one that drives it's you nuts. That one. And, then, yeah. and then it breaks off. And then you're like, oh my gosh, what am I going to do? All right, Lou, awesome. 699744 is the item number. Uh, Lou is sticking around because we got our pest repellers coming up uh, next. Lou, uh, hang on for one sec. Coming up in just a bit. And this is another one of my, I've got so many good items in the show, I don't even know what to do. This is the telescoping, uh, telescoping pruner. All I'm saying is get this, you're gonna love it. This gives you an extra five feet of reach to be able to prune twigs and branches. It even has a little grip on the end if you need to pick things up or if you're picking apples, whatever it is, but it'll snip off all that unwanted growth and then you, it'll, it'll clamp onto it and then you can just dump it right into your recycle or you can put it into your chipper shredder if you pick one of those up today. I love this thing. It sells out every time. We got them back, but only a handful. 693549. It's $29.95. It's totally cool, and I'll show you that in a little bit. But we're going to move on. We're going to talk about pest repellers. Um, so let me get into the whole thing with this. Um, I stopped getting interior pest control about a year ago. I've got the electromagnetic pest repellers, and I have Bell & Howell's regular pest repellers. What this does, all right, it's not a poison, it's not a chemical, you don't have to bait any traps, all you do is plug it into your wall. Now, the normal pest repellers from Bell & Howell create an ultrasonic field, which insects don't like, all right? They will run like crazy the opposite direction. These ones that we're offering today, the two-pack, are the ultimate, these are the premium. They do that, they create the, uh, the ultrasonic environment in the house, but these also work with the existing wiring behind the wall. So now insects cannot even run and hide in the wall, they just wanna get out of your house. You're gonna get two of these, all right? All you do is plug them in. They start working the minute you plug them in, all right? They create that little ultrasonic sound and they work in the wiring behind to create an unfriendly environment for, you ready? Rats, mice, spiders, ants, cockroaches, and more. Insects, pests, rodents, you don't have to worry about them. Now, I always do my quick disclaimer because I want to tell you this because I read the reviews. Oh, I plugged them in and I said I saw some bugs. Let me just tell you something. You're gonna, you may see a couple of insects in the first couple of days because they aren't hiding anymore. They are trying to get out of your house. And listen, and that's, and that's a good thing. So if you see them scurrying away, they, they're working, all right? Because they're gonna hide from you during the day. You're not gonna see them. Insects are smart, been around for millions and millions of years. They'll be here long after we're gone because they know how to survive, all right? This works in, an, in a sort of eco-friendly way because we're not putting chemicals out there. And I don't need to kill them because I'll never kill billions and billions of insects on this planet. I just don't wanna live with them. Plug them in, round the clock protection, 525804 Lou, the, these are these are my absolute favorite. I have these, yeah. I have one in my main uh, uh, great room, and I have one of these in the bedroom. I never see them anymore. Once in a blue moon, I may yeah. see a bug that, that comes in the door, but let me tell you, he, is, he or she just wants to get out of my house because it's not a friendly place to be in my house, and it won't be a friendly place in your house for insects or rodents if you get these. Oh, yeah. You get two of them. Go ahead, Lou. Well, this is the next step up too, Guy. I mean, this is that one-two punch because you have the traditional ultrasonic that we've used for right. years with our pest repellers, you know, and, and that works in the rooms themselves. 
But then we've also got the electromagnetic feature on this. And the electromagnetic actually uses the wiring in the house and sends a signal through that wiring, which is disruptive to the pests. It really makes them want to leave there. And you know, this is one of those things where we don't know what it sounds like. We don't know what it feels like. We just know that it makes them work. And these have been third party laboratory tested, okay? Bell and Howe spent a lot of money. It went out there and HSN told them, look, you got to get all of these tested and it's expensive. So they picked the five most common species that people have problems with. And that's rats, mice, ants, roaches, and spiders. But all you gotta do is plug these in and the minute you do, they start working totally silently. You won't know they're there, your kids won't know they're there, your pets have no idea. But the rats, the mice, the ants, the roaches, the spiders, they do. And to your point, Guy, yeah, let them work for a couple of days, you know, because you know, if you've ever walked into your house by accident and set off the, uh, the alarm, and you forgot the code, you could stand there for a little while and kind of play around and figure it out, but eventually you're outside. You're like, that's it. All right, that's I'm going outside. That's a good outside. point, yeah. You I know, know that's exactly it. <laughs> well, and, and to me, like I said, Lou, people go out and they spend 20 or $30 on, on mouse or rat traps. You know, oh, yeah. I, you know the issue I had. I had I, I moved into my house, found out in six months there were rats living in the attic. It was a nightmare. And I didn't find out until I got home from a trip. My neighbor called me, he was watching my house. He goes, hey, your house looks great, but it smells bad. And because right. I had a pest, I had a pest controller come in and they set traps. You're not gonna kill all the mice or rats with traps. You're just gonna kill a couple of them. And if they live in your attic, like my house, they were yep. in the attic for five days before I got home, rotting <laughs> in a hundred degree attic. Okay, yeah, so not, not an answer. And, and the only way to get rid of them, believe it or not, the only way to get rid of them was first I had to have the whole thing fumigated and then they yep. had to seal all the entrances that were going yeah. into the attic because a lot of them had been left open over the years, you know, where the vents are in your attic. Sure. So I thought to myself, why don't I just create this environment where, where mice and rats or, and ants and spiders and all don't want to live? And that's what I've right. done. And I am saving 40, 50 bucks a month and I've never had, I mean, I, since I got them, I have not had any issues. And I'm telling you, I've done nothing differently. And you know, Lou, it's been raining like crazy here in Florida. Oh, yeah. And yep. you will see, this is the time we see cockroaches, they, more, they come more, in. more over what they call palmetto bugs here, which sounds really nice, yeah. but they're yeah. cockroaches. When you plug these in, immediately the cockroaches, the spiders, yep. the ants, the rodents, they sense it, they can hear it. You know, it, uh, uh, creatures have very keen senses, developed differently than ours. So this, yep. the, wait, even though you can't hear it, it's piercing to them and they just wanna leave. And Lou, no, Lou, yep. I, if I spray, you know what I gotta deal with then? Dead, <laughs> like cockroach carcasses or half dead bugs walking around. And Lou, you know oh, this. Yeah. Well, what does a cockroach do right before it dies, Lou? What does it do? It jettisons its egg sacs, German cockroaches. <laughs> More they cockroaches. jettison their egg sacs. So you killed one, but guess what? There's a couple hundred that are about to be born. Exactly. Killing them is not the way to go. They get even with us. I know. <laughs> yeah. No, they do. Well, and, and see, you know, you were just talking about this too. We go out, we spend tons and tons of money on pesticides and traps and all kinds of things. So like right here, this is stuff for ants. And then I got stuff, different stuff for roaches that I got to spend a lot of money on. Then I got stuff for rats and mice, you know, so under your sink or your cabinet or wherever you keep this stuff, it's probably loaded with these things. But think about this. How often do you have to reapply this stuff? Because every time it wears off, the pests are gonna come back. How often do you run out and have to go to the store and buy more of it? So you're spending more and more and more. And you know, if you're dealing with, dealing with rats and mice, you know, these little green things in this box right here, this is poison. And not just poison for the rats and mice, for you, for your kids, for your pets. You don't want that around your house. And when these traps go off and you hear that in the middle of the night, now there's a carcass that somebody's yeah. gotta deal with. But the Bell and Health Pest Repellers guy, you know this, it takes care of the ants, it takes care of the roaches, it takes care of the rats and the mice, and one thing that is not here, spiders, yeah. and that's when you gotta get the house fumigated if you've got a real bad problem with spiders. You know, you know, Lou knows, because we've worked many yeah, years yeah. together. My, uh, <clears throat> let's just say uh, relationship with spiders, okay? I've been bitten by yeah. a couple of spiders. Not here in Florida, but I got bitten there in Arizona where there are pretty You're dangerous like spiders out there. Yeah. We got them here too. You know, I saw my, my ex-girlfriend's house up in Orlando. She had a black widow in the garage. 
I, I was like, oh my gosh, there's a Black Widow in your garage. So these wow. will work in any area. Put one in your garage. I, I use the, these, the, the big ones, these ones, you know, the, the ones yep. that have the double protection. I use these inside. I use them in, the, um, in my main room and in my bedroom, all right? And by the way, one of these has an extra plug on the side so you don't lose the outlet. So if you want to plug exactly. into it, you can do that too. But I, I, was at, I was at a beautiful resort in Sedona, Arizona, got bit on the foot by a spider while I was in bed. When I was in, I was in uh, Santa Rosa, New Mexico, driving cross country with my dog one time, and I was in yeah. kind of an affordable hotel. One of those cr things with the million legs ran across my forehead while I was sleeping. Got up, packed the car, put the dog in the car, took off. Didn't even sleep there that night. I would night. totally do that. <laughs> so, so it's like, how are you gonna protect yourself from that? I don't see right. spiders, I don't see cockroaches, I don't, rats, mice. That was years ago. I don't even see those things anymore. And when I lay my head on my pillow, I know I'm protected. Not only that, Lou, I don't have to breathe it. Have you ever smelled some of the, the cockroach? You know, they try to hide it with like a perfume. They try to mask it, yeah, it's but it's, it's just awful. nasty. Yeah, it's no. terrible. It, well, and, and you know, one last thing I want to show everybody at home. If you're one of the doubters out there and you're like, look, I don't know how these things work. They don't, I can't hear them. I can't see them. Real quick, I'm just going to show you. This is an ultrasonic leak detector. It has a microphone on the front. It only hears ultrasonic sound waves. This device right here can measure electromagnetic fields. If I put this down here and I press the button, two things are going to happen. Every time you see the LEDs light up on the pest repeller, you're going to see a little red LED bounce inside of this and you're gonna see the numbers increase on the uh, electromagnetic the magnetic detector. So proof positive, scientifically, that these are actually doing what we're saying. They're putting out the electromagnetic, they're putting out the sound waves, and guy, you really have to have both. Even if you bought a couple of sets of our pest repellers before with ultrasonic alone, get this set and add them into the mix, because you need that protection inside the walls of the house, because the sound waves can't go inside the walls. But these will, guy. Well, yeah, which is why I bought them, because you know what? Yep. When I had my regular pest repellers once in a blue moon, I would see one and I'm thinking, okay, it's, it obviously came out of the, it came out of the, behind the wall. Yeah. It got in the house and now it's trying to get out. And I love it. You know, here's another thing. I did this this morning. I do it every morning. When I wake up, my house is all dark, obviously, because I work the early sure. shift here. I go into the kitchen and I turn on, I've got a you know, dimmer, but I turn it on full blast. <laughs> <laughs> That's my test in the kitchen because you know if a cockroach is going to be that. out, it's going to be yep. in your kitchen at night. Never see them. And every time I do it, I'm like, I say to myself, it's those dang pest repellers, man. They work <laughs> because you know it, all the rain we've been having here in Florida, I don't care what your pest control is, the cockroaches yep. come up off the ground, they come into your house. They oh, yeah. are refusing to come into my house because then they're probably going to the neighbor's house because they don't have them. I am telling you, they work. So, so... We're gonna, I know the clock went down, but we're gonna go long. We got people ordering this. So here's what I'm gonna tell you. Order it and please just try it for 30 days. If I'm yeah. wrong, if it doesn't work for you, return it, you get your money back. You have nothing to lose but bugs, but try it. I mean, Lou, you know, you, you, I know you have these in your house too. Insects oh, yeah. are in incredibly adaptable, right? And yeah. intelligent in so many ways. They know what to avoid, which is why we don't see insects during the day because they see us. They know yeah. this big hulking thing is gonna probably squash me. I'm gonna go hide in the wall. But, yeah. but they can't hide with a bell and howl. They can't, they no, can't go I anywhere. Tell people, no, and I always tell people that human beings, we are the best pest repellers in the world. Cause you're right, as soon as they see us, they yes. scatter. But so that's why when you're not home, they're having a kegger at your house. You don't know what they're doing. You know, when, when you're away from, maybe you got a weekend place, maybe you own a boat or an RV that has constant power. You need these there too. Yeah. Places where you're not, you're a landlord. A lot of landlords get these. Yep. People own horses, guy, for barns. Uh, no these baiting, are... no chemicals, Lou, none no smell, none of that. They just work. And all your you do is plug them in. And if you go on vacation, they work while you're gone, which I love. Exactly. Lou, thank yep. you, buddy. Great job. You're welcome. Good to see you're you. Welcome. 525-804 is the item number. Hey, if you want to get an H-Cent credit card today, we'll give you 10 bucks. We're going to pay you to use our card. $10, get it. You can use it on any item in the show uh, throughout the day. All right, coming up next is my pick, oh, the patch. All right? And man, do we love it. We love it. You love it. All right? I can't. We can't keep this thing in stock. I just got about 4,000 back in. It's our shimmering chandelier. Um, it's sold out. They reordered it for us. I'm getting one of the first looks at it. You want to talk about totally cool retro styling? This is so 70s. And many of you who weren't around in the 70s, this is 70s, okay? This is, this is a groovy kind of a chandelier, but I love it. Why? 
because it can go anywhere. You can put this out on your patio, out on your covered deck. You can put this in, a, in your kid's room. Uh, your kids could take this to college. It works on batteries. It's got a timer, so it'll automatically turn off. It is absolutely gorgeous during the day, and we're inside, obviously, but when the sun hits this, there are hundreds and hundreds of little mirrors, and then there's these blue shells that they attach to it. On top is the little battery pack, which is included. We're even giving you batteries. So at nighttime, and we'll lower our lights and we'll show you at night, this all sparkles from inside. One of the coolest decor items I've ever seen here at HSN in my 20 years, I love this, and you love it. The last time I checked the reviews, I can't, I don't even know if I wrote them down here, but it's mostly, mostly, it's like 100 and something out of 120 five-star reviews. Everybody loves us. Look at how beautiful it is outside. It adds to any garden setting. It's soft, it's pretty. It'll automatically turn off at the end of the night and turn back on. It goes on for, I think, six hours is the timer. It is a huge, huge customer pick. Almost all five-star reviews. Let me introduce you as we lower the lights. Look at how pretty that is. Look at how beautiful as we lower the lights. Um, and I, I'm, I'm going to play with them a little bit when we lower the lights to show you how beautiful. <laughs> we'll do mine. You ready? And Chad Allen is, look at how, come on, tell me you don't want that, Chad Allen. Wow. <laughs> well, I, good morning. Good morning, guy. Welcome to my <laughs> home. This is that shimmering chandelier that uh, first time in fall, as you may have mentioned, yeah. but uh, this blew out in the spring. This is that same chandelier that we blew out in the spring that people keep requesting and it keeps selling out, like you said, but I'll lower my lights. It might be easier, guy, on my camera to pick up and I'll just turn my, uh, my yeah. computer screen down a little bit. You can see wow. there's two LED globes on the inside and these two LED globes fall to the center and they bounce off all the different mirrors. And it's, it's daytime, so it's a little hard to get the light from behind you, but at night, you, you can only imagine just how brilliant, just how beautiful. And as I bring my lights back up, I just wanna, I want you to understand the construction of it because this is one of those items that HSN has stood behind because of its durability and its quality. So you'll see it's actually a two ring, like a double tier construction with that spring all the way around. And that spring is what makes it brilliant because each of the 52 different strands here are on a different place on the spring. What does that mean for you? That means they don't get tangled in the wind. <laughs> Finally, we have a uh, sort of a dangly chandelier that we love the design of that doesn't get tangled because each strand is at a different part of the ring that's separated by the spring. We are giving you those three AAA batteries and those go right into the top. It is weather resistant, so you have that rubber uh, on off switch there. You only have to turn it on one time. And here's my pro tip, turn it on exactly when you want it to come on the same time every day because the first time you turn it on, it goes on for six hours and then it goes off for 18. So for example, if you turn this on at six o'clock at night, it goes on from 6 p.m. to midnight, it shuts off automatically, nothing to do, and it comes on the next night at 6 p.m. until midnight, and every night thereafter. And so what those batteries are powering are the LED globes on the inside. There are two, two LED globes on the inside, but this thing is fully assembled. The only thing you have to do is put the batteries inside. It comes completely flat packed, so it'll all be- um, It's ready to go. go from this flat, but yeah, <laughs> I mean, it, it's all, you know, it's, it's flat packed into a box because all the strands just, uh, you just let them dangle. They don't get tangled or anything like that. But they have little mirrors and these turquoise shells yeah. And the turquoise shells mirrors are what's reflecting that light. So daytime or nighttime, but I want you to think indoor or outdoor. Yeah. I want you to think above your vanity, above your bathtub, on your screened in porch. Guy, out there by uh, the boat dock where she's at for Look a dining table. Look at how pretty table. that is. I know. Yeah, I, I read a lot of a, a lot of reviews, Guy, that you were just mentioning. Two or three above a dining table outside, above a picnic table. I mean, yeah. those are all the places you're going to use this. They are, and and I love I love the different shots that we have of this because it shows different in every light. Uh, it reflects what what surrounds it. So depending on what light you have, here's mine. You can see the red and the blue and the green that continues to go on. 
uh, for, for six hours this will last, okay? And you'll get, you'll get weeks and weeks and, and months of, of entertainment before you have to switch out the batteries, maybe buy yourself some rechargeable ones. But look at how pretty it is. And, and I'm telling you, whether it's a special occasion or whether it's just, you know what, we want to go outside and have a glass of wine and this just, this dresses it up, like it elegance it up. But at the same time, you know, um, I was around, I don't think you were, but I was around in the early 70s. <laughs> and I, and I, this is God's honest truth, Chad. I don't think I've ever told you this story. My parents, my mom and dad, would have, every year, they would have a hippie party. And they would open up their garage <laughs> to everybody in the neighborhood. And I mean, like, we had like, a hundred people would show up. Everybody had to dress like a 70s hippie. And these were people that were in their 40s at the time, mind you. And it was, dude, it was like the town, a whole town knew about it. It was so much fun. And these are the kind of things we would hang up. You know, they'd put like flower power. They would do all this stuff. They had lights and stuff hanging all over. And it was such a fun time. It just, it, it brings me back to that time, like, you know, the early 70s when, when, you know, it was a different generation, but you can relive that and your kids will love this. Like what son or daughter wouldn't like to have this in their college apartment? I know my, my, uh, my son's girlfriend, Lily, would probably love this because it's all pretty and reflective and, and soft. And look, even, even is, that's not Belle, is it? No, Belle's over there. This is the squirrel we have not named yet. We have a bunch of different names for this squirrel. Uh, I think the last time I heard it was Rocky, but we're, we're continuing to, to, to think of other names, if you want to name the nail squirrel. Anyway, we got about five minutes. We are extremely busy again, Chad. You knew we would be. Uh, we have not had a chance to really see this very much. We, we uh, premiered it again in springtime, sold out in like a week, and, and we just couldn't get them back. So you can grab this. You can use it throughout the fall season. This would be wonderful for holiday, right through the holiday season, Chad. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, especially because we're going to be outside. Well, we get outside in the fall more anyway because the weather cools down to a temperature we can stand it, especially here in Florida. You're thinking about those outdoor fires, those backyard barbecues. You're handing out candy to the kids during Halloween. Think about all the different activities you're going to have outside. But it is indoor or outdoor, so you can use it either or. It's your decision. It's very simple. I mean, you've seen how long I've been holding it during this presentation. It's not a heavy item. And what that means for you is that you're able to take this little ring here at the top and hook it onto any hook, any chain, uh, where you'd hang a planter for, uh, you know, one of those hanging planter baskets, you can hang this up. Uh, once you turn that switch on for the first time, it stays on for six hours, goes off for 18. But whether you like the lights or not, it's still going to reflect during the sunlight during the daytime because all these little squares are little, they're like little mirrors. So it's going to dance, it's going to shimmer. Uh, it is about 31 inches long. You can see it here. I'm, a, uh, I'm about 5'10", 5'11". It's about the size of my torso, just so you get an idea. So if you're gonna hang this up from a really tall ceiling, maybe you wanna get a chain and bring it down to a level that's more manageable so you can actually uh, you know, get it to look really long above a dining table. but. I read some of the Facebook posts about it also. They were hanging two or even three above a picnic table when they were doing like family reunions or a get together. And we're gonna get back to those eventually, but with 31 inches long, two LED globes on the inside. I think the last time I counted, please don't quote me on this, but there's about 52 different uh, you know, strings on here with yeah. the turquoise shells. And by the way, uh, I think maybe it was Colleen Lopez who pointed out like these little turquoise shells on a bracelet. I mean, she, she was trying to price it out. Like, she goes, <laughs> yeah. Do you know how much a little turquoise sell shells cost? Um, I know. So that, that's well, sort of fun, but it's that, it's that spring Chad, on the top. If you guys cannot, it might be able to see it better on your camera. Those springs on the top, well, and, that's and, what's separating those strings. Yeah. And, and to Colleen's point, you know, much, you know how much work goes into these? I mean, to make these and string these and have them all done, there's a lot of work in manufacturing to put this together and then to be able to put it together so when you open the box, all you do is lift it out and it's ready to go. You don't have to add anything to it. You could add things to it if you really wanted to. Uh, you could personalize it, add little trinkets on there because there's little loops where you could add them. But to Colleen's point, there's a lot that goes into making this, all right? And these are beautifully made. There is a reason that uh, I think it was 150 five out of 120 perfect five-star reviews. I may be off a little, but it's very close. 
that's almost every single person that bought this said it was five stars. And those that didn't were probably four stars. Maybe they wanted it in a different color. I don't know. But it is gorgeous. And it's instant decor, Chad. You, you put this out on a patio with just a boring table and some chairs. You've changed the whole look. When you look at our, our footage, uh, especially the girl outside and near her pool, I mean, that's a place. Look at this. <laughs> that, is, that is gorgeous right there. Right? Yeah, Elegant. And that guy, in, in about three hours, I'm leaving with uh, two friends, and we're going down to a beach house that we rented for the weekend. And guess what's coming with me? This exact chandelier, <laughs> just going right to the car. I nice. don't need no electrician. There's no wiring. Right. I don't have to hire somebody to put up a chandelier. Chandeliers are expensive. It's yeah. supposed to be battery operated, automatic timer with LEDs. Winner, winner, guy. Yeah, and a good point. If you had to run a wire or cord to this, it would defeat the whole purpose, right? Because then you'd see a cord going and it's like being able to put this anywhere. Even if you wanted to hang it from a tree outside in your yard for a party, you could do things like that. Get it while you can, 599-977. Chad, thank you, my friend. Lots of fun. Have a great weekend if I don't see you. Hey, thanks. Hey. <laughs> thanks. I'm back on Monday at 1 a.m. All right, buddy. <laughs> thanks, Chad. All right, we're going to step away. We got more of the go-to fall guy coming up. Stick around. With the power of HP from HSN, reinvent how you work, how you play, how you live. Technology that makes life better for everyone, everywhere, and deals designed for every budget. HP on HSN and at hsn.com. G by Juliana is for the confident, fashionable, amazing woman. She can expect to feel comfortable. She can also expect a lot of compliments. They'll be asking, who are you wearing? I'm on a hunt for the things that make life easier. You know, the products you can't live without. It's all about having the right tool for the right job. Come join me every Saturday at 7 a.m. to find out what makes me say, now that's clever. So we brought back our long arm pruner. If you'd like to get it, if you've seen it before and you want to order it now, this is the time to do it. It is brilliant. Okay, what we have here is, you know, regular pruning shears, you have them in your hand and you go and you clip things out. What do you do if something is four, five, or six feet over your head? You use the long arm pruners. Look at what these do. I don't know if you can see there. Look at what these do. These will cut and trim. Uh, branches, twigs, whatever it is, even, even if you're going apple picking, you can grab apples, it'll actually hold them in place and you can put them in the receptacle. Take a look at how this works. It has an extending pole that reaches out that gives you an extra five to six feet of reach. All right, and then you have the clippers on the other end. They're, they're controlled by your hand, but the clippers are way up there where you can get twigs and branches and you can easily put them into the garbage. It's lightweight. This is so easy on your back. You never have to get on a ladder. It's got that grip feature. Uh, this has been one of my picks. It's probably been my pick more than anything else throughout the gardening season. I kept making this my pick because I think it's brilliant and I own it. I love the keep safe design. The, the trimmers are far away. You don't have to worry, watch this, how it grabs on after it cuts and then you can throw things away. I talked about picking apples. You could do that as well. It's called the Telescoping Long Reach Pruner. Um, it is very, very limited. I do not have a lot of these to go around. If you'd like to get it, only weighs, what does it weigh? Weighs less than two pounds in your hand. It's got a little area where you can, a uh, comfort grip where you can actually grab it. And then I'm gonna get some sticks out here and I'll show you how it trims. Um, but it is a, a great thing to have in your garden, especially now while we're cleaning up around the yard. Tom Wise standing by. Tom, the, look, the pruner is back again. I, I love it. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's one of those pieces in your arsenal now to, to keep the house and keep your bushes and your trees in good shape that you really haven't had in the past. Before, if you had a prune, you had to get a ladder, like you were mentioning, and then reaching up with your hand. That's a dangerous situation. This is telescopic. It goes from five feet, excuse me, from three feet to five feet guy. You can uh, 
It only weighs 1.7 pounds. You're correct, less than two pounds. Squeeze the handle, makes it cut. It's so simple, now it's safe. No gas, no electric, no chains. Lightweight, you can work over your head. And as you mentioned, you can grab and hold on to the clipping. That's really quite amazing. Now, if the red is on the outside towards the tip of the, of the branch, then you'll be able to grab that clipping and then release it and put it in, in the trash. If you spin it, which you could spin this too, you could spin the handle, then if you cut, the clipping will fall to the ground. So whatever purpose you want to get, whether you want to hold on to that clipping <laughs> like this and throw it away, perfect. It's also ideal if you want to pick up trash or reach inside of a vine and get cups and papers, people that you know, left things behind. This is ideal for that, throw it away. And as you mentioned, you can also grab a, a lemon or an apple. It's uh, super easy, it's perfect, it's lightweight, and the storage is, is, is ideal. Use it one-handed, for goodness sakes. Look at that. Huh. It's, hold it like that. Thank you. All right, well, I've got, I, I got some twigs here. I wanted to show everybody. Lindsay has been sweet enough to come over and stand off camera. But I wanted to show you how it works. So there's your branch, right? Now you need to clip it. All you do is give it a snip, all right? That is how easy this works, all right? So if you're wondering, all right, but am I still gonna get leverage and power on it? Look at this. And then remember, I can grab whatever I want. You can let it go, Lindsay. <laughs> I can grab whatever I want, and now I can put that, if I wanted to, can you follow me? Look, I can put that right in my chipper shredder, just like that, and I don't even have to deal with it. Tom, look, we got a chipper shredder coming up. Everybody's ordering it. I, I so, love it, guy. Isn't it great? But but honestly, um, having being able to articulate it with with such control is the whole deal on this. And I know I know Tom, you and I are big, tall guys. We're both uh, you know six plus footers, and uh, and. Most people out there are not, and you know, and if they have to get on a ladder to do this, it's really dangerous. Here's another guy that's, look, he's just, he's cleaning up around the yard, and you can use them as your short arm pruners too, just collapse them, but I love them yep. for being able to reach areas that you never could put a ladder in. And you know, Tom, unfortunately, most shrubberies, if they're big, you can't get a ladder to them, right? Because you can't yeah. lean the ladder anywhere. No, very difficult. It's almost an impossible task. Sometimes you gotta rent a, a piece of equipment to trim particular bushes or particular types of trees. Here's a way you can reach over fences if you want. No ladder, lightweight. You can work longer because it's, it's lightweight, as I mentioned, less than two, two, uh, two pounds. Use, use it either single-handedly or you've got the comfort grip, as you pointed out. Look at that, look at that. I've got myself, I picked myself a variegated lemon. This tree here is my pride and joy. I'm letting it go crazy this year because it had a rough, <laughs> it had a rough last year. Yeah. But uh, I'm trimming, I'm trimming it now. It has four different types of fruit on that tree, guy. Look yeah, and, and you know, Tom, not just for trimming high, right? If you want to trim low, no. the nice thing is you don't have to get down on your hands and knees to do that either. So if you're trimming areas on the bottom, where a lot of our plants need trimming because, you know, we, we keep the tops a little more full, but we want to thin it out, especially in the fall, right, where you're, where you're cutting back a lot of your, your trees and a lot of your flowers and all that. These are perfect for deadheading, old, um, old blossoms too. They'll clip them right off at the top. And, and the, the important part, as I showed you when I was trimming, is that you get a clean cut. I don't know how close you guys can get in right here. I'll put it, I'll put it right near Mr. Squirrel. I wanted you to see that you're getting a really nice that's clean cool. cut with those shears, and that's important too because you won't damage yep. the plant. If you, if you uh, use cheap shears and you shred this, it's more likely to uh, get some rot and it, 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 the plant will struggle. So you really want it to be very, very clean when you're doing that. Very busy right now. If you want to get it, how about this? You want to get it for $19.95? Kyle, put up the uh, $10 gift thing. There it, here it comes. Our gift to you, if you get an HSN credit card, put $10 in your account so you can buy that for $19.95. You can use it on anything, but get a card. Why not? We got the chipper coming up. You can use that. $10 for the, for the chipper shredder, which I'm really excited about. I've never had a chipper shredder on the show. Always wanted really? one. You know, my dad had one of these things. He spent like $2,000 on it. My mother was so mad at him. She's like, $2,000? You know, we could have done with two thousand. Anyway, this one is only about 150 bucks, <laughs> and that's coming up. But Tom, anybody out there that needs to do any trimming, and this is the time of season to do it, this is the tool for them. We, we have probably, I don't even know how many thousands of these have gone out. You and I, the, we aired it the first time, do you remember? I was so excited, because yep. I'm like, I will use this like every other day. I've got so many things that are overgrowing that I don't want to pull a ladder out for. This is perfect for that. Well, 
It's perfect. Let me walk everybody around a little bit. You've got yourself the uh, the, the the pole here. Now it it will extend twice. There's a little push button, spring button clip here. It'll go to the first setting and then to the second setting. Essentially three to five feet. Then you've got a spring loaded grip here that uh, very intuitively will cut the end. You also have a rotation available. As I mentioned, you could go with the, the red part on the inside or the red part on the outside. When it's on the outside like this, it will actually grab the branch. That's nice. So you don't have to worry about it falling to the ground. If you want it to fall to the ground, rotate it the other way and give it a trim and it will trim and then fall to the ground, whichever way you want. Easy storage. Here's your nice padded handle. You can also use it one handed because it's so lightweight. It's uh, really, really handy. Now this particular tree, some of the branches, not all of them, but some of the branches have thorns on it. So you don't want to be surprised by reaching in with a hand pruner and then getting shocked by running into a thorn. That's solved by reaching inside and then using <laughs> using the pruner. Oh, I don't want to, this guy, he's he's too brand new. Let me get an old, an old one. Look at this, look at that. No thorns. That is awesome. Perfect, <laughs> ideal. I love, that it, I love that it holds on. To, to it as well, right? And you could do that, yes. right? If you clamp on and you and it'll it'll clamp on, uh, you can take it and then you can put it, like I said, either in your chipper shredder, you can put it in your in your mulch pile, whatever you need to do. It extends uh, uh, up to about, I say up to about five to six feet. It really depends also how long your arm is. But what's yeah. nice, Tom, it's very easy to use. I think a lot of people worry I'm gonna have to squeeze really hard. You don't have to, No. right? It's simple. It's very, very simple. And what's nice about this is it's, it's the safest way you could trim the tree. You don't have to have a branch. You don't, right. actually, you don't have to have a ladder. You don't have, there's nothing electric. There are no chains, no ropes, uh, no gas involved. You can just go ahead and just, you know, do your little trimming, even tall bushes. Or how about, you know, reaching in and doing a little trimming around the, uh, the ground cover you've got around the, around the tree as well. It's simple and it's very intuitive. I like the way that you can spin it and identify whether you want to grab it or let it drop. It's, uh, it could not be any simpler, and it's something that really wasn't available a couple of years ago. This is kind of a nice, nice new, interesting, you know, invention. Yeah, I got, I, I, I'm getting jealous of you doing all the work, so I got, <laughs> <laughs> Lindsay is back holding the stick for me. Thank you, Lindsay. You put Lindsay to work. But yeah, but look, look, look. So if I, even little fine chopping job, I mean, look at that, right? Right down, I want to go in. I mean, that's, this is the kind of cutting that you can do, and you can see how clean it is. And then again, if I want to just grab it, and take it out of Lindsay's hands if she'll let it go with her kung fu grip. Uh, I could take it and now I can bring it over and I can put it literally right in my shredder and, yep. and I can get that done as well. And I never even have to grab anything with my hands. I love, Tom, your idea uh, or your thoughts on the things that have like pricker bushes. How else would you trim those? Those are a nightmare, right? To try yep. to get in there. Uh, you know, roses are really tough because there's lots of thorns. You can get right in there if your roses are big. You know, a lot of people have roses that are huge. You can get up there and you can trim those as well. Deadheading plants, like Tom, picking fruit. Tom, you gotta, yep. you gotta bring in a couple of those variegated lemons for me, bro. Those sound oh, great. These are, these are the best. These, they look like watermelons and they, <laughs> they, they, you open this up and it's pink and it's an unbelievable oh taste. I would gladly bring some in for you, Guy. Yeah, you gotta oh, love, you know what? You gotta love Florida some, sometimes. Love it. <laughs> it's a little uh, hot, but you gotta love Florida <laughs> sometimes. Hey, Tom. Uh, Tom. Yes, guys. Uh, uh, is Tom? Is that it for Tom for today? Oh right. no. No, 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 Tom. Tom. Oh, this is. I, I knew I had some. I had Tom. Did you see what we did? I called. I called our planners a couple days ago. I said we've only got about 400 of our four-in-one cart left. It went crazy last time. I, I, I didn't get a chance to talk to you, so we put it back in the show. Last call, and you told me last available for the season, correct? Yeah, it won't be back until next January or February at the earliest. Right. That's coming up. Here's a look at it. If you want to take a sneak peek at it, it does everything. It's a hand cart, dolly, trolley, truck, uh, ladder. It does everything. Tom is, is part of the team that put this together. It's awesome. I've got, how many do I have left, Carl? 400? 370 now, okay? So people are already 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 ordering it. It's tough to say already in order. Uh, it's out there, it's inline skate wheels, it's awesome. All right, hey, uh, still available if you wanna grab it. We do have the chandeliers still available. So if you wanna go ahead and order that, you can. Um, and there it is, all right? So if you wanna order this, 
Tons of people picked it up. Beautiful, sold out, just back, huge customer pick. Glows at night, automatic timer, no wires or cords, works on batteries, love this. Totally 70s cool. 2945 599 All right, brand new, out of the gate, and very limited. We brought in like 350 of our chipper shredders. My producer, yeah, no squirrels allowed. Keep the squirrels away from here. My producer Kyle told me we are now less than 200 total quantity. If you've always wanted to own one, let me give you the story, the backstory of my dad. My dad wanted a chipper shredder so bad his whole life because he loved his mulch, he loved his garden, and there's nothing better for your garden than mulch when you make it yourself. Leaves, debris, all that stuff that goes in there, sticks, twigs. So my father went out and bought like a $2,000 shredder. My mother was mad at him for two months. She's like, Bob, how could you spend $2,000 on a shredder? Oh my God. It was a lot of money back then, all right? Because you're talking about 30 years ago, all right? He bought a giant industrial gas shredder. He had to put gas in it, oil in it. It was a great item, but it was way more than we needed. Earthwise has come up with a solution for all of you people that love to do stuff yourself at your home, and that's the home chipper shredder. It is a 15 amp corded, eco-friendly electric leaf and mulch shredder. You could put sticks almost two inches in, in size. You can see those sticks that you can pop in there, but it's perfect for lawn debris, branches, twigs. Um, they'll be chipped and shredded, compacted for your mulch, which is the best thing for your garden. You can do it yourself. It's safe. There's a hands-free tamper that comes with it. Your hands never go in, uh, have to go inside the barrel, all right? Um, it has a discharge chute, which will get rid of all the junk and the stuff that you don't want. Look at it, it goes right into a bin. Brilliant, then pour it right into your mulch pile. Look at that stuff, that's gold right there, baby. That is gold. $169.95, uh, it's easy to cart around, it's on wheels, it does not take up a lot of space. Peter Kilcullen is joining us. Pete, congratulations to you guys and you at Earth, and the people at Earthwise for, for bringing a chipper shredder that anybody can handle. Absolutely, guy. Yeah, and it's not $2,000. Oh. That sounded serious. Oh, my mom gosh. Dad. My poor dad. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Well, that, you know, what's so cool about it is that it's, it's not super expensive, and maybe you've always wanted one. Again, it is so easy to use that you're going to be able to, you know, I've got piles of the sticks. You're going to be able to take those sticks that you were trying to wrap up, put in the trash can, leaves. If it's a brush pile, you're going to put it all in here. It's going to mulch it down, shred it down. Down, chip it down to where you can handle it and take it out into the street. It's, it's super easy. Or like you said, use it in the mulch beds. It's fantastic. So, guy, I will say, as we're talking, it's going to be a little loud. So I'll do a couple of the small sticks to get us started just to show you how it works. But uh, I'll be quiet and I'll let you talk as this yeah, does ahead. make a little bit of noise. Here we go. Oh, man, I love. See, see, I... I love not wasting stuff, and I think a lot of other people are the same way. And if you've got sticks or branches laying around your house, but even and moreover, Pete, uh, the lawn debris, you know, if you've got, uh, you know, yes. if, you've, if you've trimmed off your trees and there are leaves and tree material, that is also wonderful planting material. It's great for decorating exactly. around your gardens. It's ideal, uh, you know, you're taking the nitrogen and all the good parts of that plant that makes soil, and you're giving it a little head start. And that's what you do with this yeah. machine. So Peter, 15 amp, that's, that's really good power for something uh, at, at this level when you think about it, because you know we're gonna be putting some serious stuff in there, but you don't have to worry about that. Right, as you mentioned, you're talking 15 amps, so there's plenty of power, and you can have limbs or sticks, things like that, up to one and three quarter inches in diameter, and that starts to get to be a pretty good size. And think about what we're talking about. It was great that you were showing Tom with the pruner, you can use the pruner, you can be taking all your yard mess, putting it in here, and then putting it back in the yard. It's sort of just one simple process where you're never spending extra time bagging everything up, putting it in trash cans and dragging it to the street. This makes it super easy. So I'll show you a longer one that we'll do here. And again, you'll see as I feed it in there, you know, nice to wear gloves, great to wear your eye protection, but it's gonna draw it in there. And you have that tamping tool, and I can show you, the tamping tool goes all the way in so you never get anywhere close to this blade. And it's super easy to use. It's just an on off button. All you're doing, like all of our Earthwise tools, is plugging it in. That's all you have to do. So I'll put that right there. Yeah, go ahead, Again, Pete. I'm gonna turn it on. This is awesome. Oh, look, Pete, that's so cool. That's <laughs> what I always want. Remember, use the tamper when you get down to the bottom there. That's right. Yeah. There it goes. Look at that. Hey, Peter. 
When yes. you get a sec, can you, sh uh, can you also show everybody what the result is afterwards? I'd love to see some of the mulched material. Maybe you've already got some Absolutely. poured out there, but I want everybody to get an idea of how it scales down and it compacts all the debris that's in your yard. Because you know, leaves take up an incredible amount of room. Anybody that's had to bag leaves knows if you mulch the leaves down first, they're like, they're like a fifth or a sixth of the, of the amount, right? So you can really fill those bags or you could just incorporate that right back into your soil. So let me tell you quickly, right. 169.95, very affordable for a shredder. Uh, four payments of 42.99 is all it will cost. Costs about $20 to ship, which is not bad because this is it's a good size unit. Very easy to operate. You see all the safety switches and the on and off switch. Uh, you've got a nice big receptacle on top to put anything inside there. So if you're taking handfuls of leaves or debris or whatever, keep your squirrel away. Don't let your little squirrel get around there if you've got one as a pet. But I love it. I love it to be able to, to, be able to clean up around the yard, easily store in the shed or the garage, Heck, you could even buy a cover for it. You know, we have we have those uh, we have those furniture covers. You could even buy a cover for it and just leave it parked outside in the backyard, and you'll use it all the time. All right, we had 200 to start, I think. How many do we have left? I'm just curious, Kyle. We're gonna, I think we're going to put our left counter up any minute to show you what we have remaining. But there you go. You have 182 left if you want to get it. So, Peter, what? If, let me let me see what we've chopped up there. Yeah. And I haven't even done that much, guy. And it's amazing what you have here. Yeah. As you said, you called it gold earlier. It's amazing. And again, I've done a bunch already, and I'm not anywhere near close to filling this. It's 1.2 bushels that you can hold in there. And this is fantastic stuff. And you can see how small. So imagine how many sticks, how many branches, how many little things of leaves that you're going to have to put in here to fill this up. And it's super lightweight, easy to use. And I'll show you that it just goes on a little track right here and you just push that in so it's off the ground. So as we talked about, it's just a 30 pounds or so. And when you wanna move it, just like that, you can kick it back onto those wheels and move it around and it's simple, it's easy. And you will use this and we're coming into that season right now, guys, yeah. in the fall where you wanna clean up everything. And then think about after the winter time, right? We're gonna have all those winter storms, lots of down dead limbs everywhere. You're gonna put them in here, you're gonna make that amazing mulch and you can spread it around on your flower beds. I love that idea. I, I, you know what, and, and the mulch you make, you know, I'll get back to a story about my dad. The reason he bought the shredder was exactly because this guy had a garden, I mean, it was killer. He, everything he planted out there, he grew corn, he grew squash, he grew uh, rhubarb, he grew uh, every kind of, you know, cucumbers and all this stuff, tomatoes, obviously. And he had the most amazing garden, and the reason was because of the mulch, even though it was a killer for me and my brother because my father would make us go out there and shovel his mulch pile and turn it. Every two weeks, he'd say, go out there, spend an hour in the mulch pile. So we'd go out there with pitchforks and we would aerate it, right? That was his thing. But he was like, that was the key. And the guy was right because his garden was killer. He never had to buy bags of soil. He always had it on hand. He was just recycling what he had in the yard. That's why he wanted the chipper. My mother just didn't understand that. <laughs> she didn't get it. She just gave him a hard time. And I remember his face when she came home. He was like, oh boy, I'm in trouble. But I tell you, we pro it probably paid for itself in the long haul because we had such a crazy garden that we were giving away fruits and vegetables to all the neighbors. We had so much uh, because of the quality of the soil. And that is part of what, a, of what a wood chipper and shredder does. It takes material that you normally would just pile up or throw away or burn and you recycle it back into the soil and you make incredible soil that way. If you wanna get it, $42 to get it home. You can take it out on a test drive if you want for 30 days, which I would encourage, because I know it's a chipper and you're like, well, is it, is it safe? Is it something I can handle? Well, if it was a $3,000 or $2,000 chipper, I'd say maybe not, but this one is one you can handle. It's got all the safety features you never, you, there's no, if you look inside, there's no blade to be seen in here. Everything is nestled down below, okay? You can't even reach it with the tamper. The tamper only goes down to about here. The blades are down there. So you're not gonna hurt yourself that way. There's no way for anything to scatter or spatter. Uh, unlike traditional um, chippers where, where you need, where it shoots out the side, this shoots right down into the bin. So there's no raking, there's no mess. It's completely quick and convenient. And I think, Peter, if you've never tried one, this is a perfect item to try if you've always wanted one.
Yeah, absolutely. Guy, and you were just talking about those safety features and how you're nowhere near that blade. But when you have a jam or anything gets stuck, it's just a simple little knob there. You turn that knob. Now, I've unplugged mine that I've opened it like this. But you can have access to just clean that out. It's super easy. Basically, you're just going to pull a stick or anything that gets stuck in there. Well, and you're set to go. I, I love it, Pete. I think it's great. It's a great idea. If you want to get one, 728. 045 is the item number. Uh, take advantage of that. We are sticking around uh, for a bit. We got another hour to go. Peter, thanks. We'll see you in a bit. Be right back with more Go To Fall Guy. You stick around. Shopping is easier than ever with the HSN app. Turn on notifications to get shipping updates, exclusive offers, and alerts on your favorite products sent straight to your phone. Now you can share all your fabulous finds with your friends right from the app through Facebook, text, and more. Save your favorite products all in one place. See it, heart it, save it. Download the app for Apple or Android devices by searching HSN app on hsn.com. Here at HSN, we base our retail values on nationwide information. Retail value is an indication of the price you would expect to pay for the same or similar item elsewhere, not the price at which you would be able to sell the item. Prices do vary around the country, so ours might be different from prices in your area. For more information, call one of our customer service reps at 1-800-284-3900.